everyone. Welcome to Deanna Creates. So in today's video, we are gonna be using this uh, decoupage queen. This is the Valentine Greetings decoupage paper and my sweet friend Pat sent this to me and I thought it would be perfect for the project I wanna do today. So let's just get started. So we are gonna be using, you guys, one of these little four by six canvas panels. These are um, Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I really, really love these little panels. I always like to keep them on hand because uh, they're just perfect for so many different kinds of projects. So that's what we're gonna be using today. And of course, I've got lots of fun little things around me that we're gonna use to embellish this paper and just make a sweet little Valentine gift. So. We are gonna use the water method to cut this out. And so I'm just gonna go around my paper, always. You guys know I love that, that edge. Not the water method, the deckled like edge. Just gonna tear it very lightly. This is such a sweet, sweet paper, you guys. I just um, love these vintage images that are in it. This is a, an older paper, I think. But it is so, so cute. So you guys, are you guys ready for Valentine's Day? And what are you making? Love for you guys to share that. I always remember in like elementary school, you know, putting together the little boxes so that you could collect the Valentines from like all your friends. And that was always so fun, making those cute little boxes. I don't know if kids still do that, but it is, I always loved it. <clears throat> and it's just fun. Valentines, they're just fun things, but Valentines are just really fun to make, I think. All right, so we are just gonna decoupage this on here. And I love, I just love that feather look, as you guys know. So I'm just gonna take my satin top coat and um, that's what I'm gonna use to decoupage. So you guys, one thing that I wanted to talk about with you guys today is is Valentine's and you know it's so much just like kind of all the holidays it you know gets commercialized and um, so many times uh, and rightfully so uh, when we think about Valentine's we're thinking about you know those people that are in our lives that we love and we want to show them how much we love them and you know with gifts or flowers or candy or a sweet card or something like that but one thing I would like for you to think about this Valentine's Day is, is you. I would like for you to think about how much you love yourself and how much that you are a gift to the people in your life because you are here on this planet in this time and you're here for a reason. And so I really hope this Valentine's Day that you, and every day really, but it's a good, it's a good time to remind us all to do that, is to really just make it a practice of just loving yourself and being kind to yourself and um, taking care of yourself. You know, we do so much, so many of us 
you know, put everybody else above ourselves. And um, I recently heard heard this, and I'd heard it before, but, you know, we can't fill other people's cups if we don't fill our own first, because then there's nothing, we don't have anything to fill it up with. And I just really love that. And so I just wanted to just like share that with you guys and hope that it just helps to remind you uh, about that and about, you know, whatever that looks like for you as far as self-love goes, you know, do something special for your own self on Valentine's Day. Um, you know, take a really nice quiet bath with, a, you know, some essential oils or a nice, a nice um, bath oil, you know, light those candles and put some music on and just take time to just relax and give yourself a, a facial or, you know, just anything that you can do just this, this Valentine's Day, take some time for you and nourish, nourish yourself. And then continue that, continue that on, not just for Valentine's Day, but that's a great time to just kind of start that practice. Um, because I think we all need to be reminded of that. We get caught up in just loving everybody else and taking care of everybody else that we don't, don't always do that for our own self. All right, so here's what it looks like so far. Look at that, just all, all by itself. It is so, so sweet already. I just love it. All right, so now we're gonna do the fun part of this. We are gonna start embellishing it. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit before I put my distressed inks on there, but I want to take, this is, um, it's called Pops of Color, and this is a beautiful pearly pink. This is um, from a scrapbook.com. I think this is their, like, brand. And um, where these really sweet little roses are that are all around it, I want to go around those and just give it just that little bit of, of dimension. Um, again, just something to kind of make it, you know, stand out. And so I'm just going around these, like I said, just here and there to just help those stand out. And like not necessarily on every petal, but just little places on there. And I mean, already just that helps it to just kind of pop off the canvas. So what else are you guys making? for Valentine's Day. Tell me, tell me. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my goodness. That's one thing, you guys, that I love about these papers. Again, it is just they're so beautiful all on their own, and it just doesn't take a whole lot to really add something to them, because like I said, they're so pretty. Um, and you don't have to even do any of that. They're just pretty on their own. Okay, so I also have, this is a frosted lace. This is a Stickles, and it is just, um, 
it has a little bit of sparkle in it, but it's nothing like, you know, the Stardust or some of the other ones of Stickles. It's just um, kind of more muted. And um, she's got some lace around her collar. And then in her dress, there are these little ovals. And I just thought I would put um, a few of that, a few of this frosted lace on there. Again, just to make it stand out a little bit. So if we can get it to work with our lovely. And you guys, you can, these are vintage images, so you can go to probably somewhere like the Graphics Fairy or um, just Google free vintage images and you will be able to find all kinds of images just like this. So if you, you know, I know that all of you may not have this paper or have access to it. And so that's something else that you can do is just, you know, print them off yourself and then you can decoupage that. Um, napkins uh, would be cute to do something like this too. Oh yeah, you guys, this, this frosted linen is just perfect on this. It almost looks like the exact color that's around those little ovals. Oh, sweet. Just in case, here's what it looks like so far. Isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness. Oh, so sweet. All right, and so I also have some other little things here. I've got these sweet little hearts. They're just kind of like spongy. These are that you would, I think I got these like in the, like the kids section, um, like at Walmart when they do, you know how when they put together Valentine's displays, they have a bunch of things so that kids can make Valentine's cards. And I think that's where these came from. Um, and then I had just have some little hearts here that I had punched out with um, some scrapbook paper. So I have those that we're gonna use. I got this little sweet pink washi tape and I have some doilies and I thought, I was gonna use this doily on here cause it does have a little bit of red up here on a heart. But then when I was kind of playing with it, I thought maybe I'll use this doily as like a little stencil. And so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take kind of the corner of one. And I have this is um, Paint Couture's Vera at the Ballet, which is just a soft, soft pink. Um, I've had this on my wish list for a while and I finally got it um, and I'm so excited. And so I'm just gonna, I'm just taking a little foam brush here and I am just gonna kind of just dab that on there. And again, I'm just trying to give it a little texture. It's not gonna make um, like this perfect thing, but it's just, it's just subtle that you can kind of see it. Let me do it a little heavier. And so, yeah, it just gives it just a little, you can see that the pain is there. Can't really make out what it is, but that's okay. And actually, I had some of that, this pink on my little palette here, and it's picking up some of that. So that's okay. And so I'm just going to kind of dab that here and there. Again, I'm just trying to give a little more texture to something on here to give it a little bit of interest. And again, totally optional. Just giving you guys ideas of things that you can do. So this is kind of like a little mixed media piece. And that's really, really cute. 
like I said, it just adds a little bitty bit. You'd have to look really close, but. All right, and so now I think what we were gonna do is let's see if we wanna use any of these little paper hearts anywhere. They're kind of big though for this one. But I do like these sweet little pink ones. So I think I am gonna use that. But what I think I'm gonna do is I have my little script stamp here. And so I think I'm gonna just stamp that a little bit. Let's see if I have my tiny, tiny one in here. Oh, I do. I have this one that I use for tiny stuff. So let's use that one. Just to give this heart a little bit of interest. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect, y'all. No, you cannot see it, but it has the perfect amount of script on there. And these just these are sticky, so you just pull these off. And then I'm just gonna set it like about right here. So sweet. And she's holding a red heart, and so I'm gonna do that one more time so that I have like three hearts on here. Oh y'all, this is really turning out sweet. All right, so now let's take our vintage photo and let's just start to go around the edges of this and give it a little bit of stressing. That little pops of color really, really made all of that really stand out. I'm just gonna kinda go inside the paper a little bit too. I wanna go over my paint. And where, of course, we did those torn edges, it makes great texture just on its own. Oh, you guys, this is really, really sweet. I think that is all that I am gonna do to it. Here is what it looks like. It's so, so sweet. So it already has to my Valentine on there, so I'm not gonna add any other little words to it. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And I, I really, really love it. So I hope you guys, you know, like I said, pick up some of these little canvas panels. They're great to have around these papers, this size paper, which is the A4 set. Um, it, they make all kinds of papers like these all the time and they with these little kind of combo packs and they this this little canvas panel is perfect uh, for these so i hope you guys enjoyed this again i want to wish you a happy valentine's day and just remember that you are so very loved and i want you to Give yourself some love, give yourself a hug, and um, do something special for yourself this Valentine's Day. So, as always, I appreciate you guys. Love and light to you all, and we'll see you again real soon.